What's up? It's Coach J Pro, and today we're talking all about footwork. Hey, 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 okay. Which is key to any successful reflex bag training journey. Now, you know, when it comes to training, I like to keep things simple. So today we're going to run through three key boxing footwork principles and how you can practice them when you're training with a reflex bag. So feel free to throw your gloves on if you're going to follow along. If you've seen any of my videos on stance or technique, I talk about it all the time. Staying on train tracks, not a balance beam. When we're on train tracks, we have a nice 50-50 distribution of our weight. When we're on a balance beam, I have no stability here. I can topple over any time. So that goes right into the first tip, which is that we wanna remain balanced at all times. So the entire time we're moving around our bag, and we can practice now, I'd hold off on throwing punches. We wanna remain in this train track position. And that leads right into tip number two, which is in order to remain balanced, whenever we're moving, we need to avoid crossing our feet over. A lot of times we see beginners shuffling their feet all around. And the way that we incorporate this is that the direction that we're moving is the foot that moves first. So if I go to the right of my bag, it's that right foot that goes first. If I'm taking a step to the left, it's that left, that left foot that goes first and then the right follows. So now let's practice a one, two, step in either direction and throw a punch and practice the direction that you're going is the foot that moves first. One, two, step, two. If I'm going to the left, that left foot goes first if I'm going to the right, that right foot moves first. That way I stay in that train track position at all times. And the third principle is we wanna keep the weight nice and balanced on the balls of our feet, which means we wanna avoid being flat footed. We keep the weight on the balls of our feet. This allows us to start moving around a little quicker. I'm always ready when I'm on the balls of my feet. So now let's practice a one, two, step back, step in, one. Keep the weight on the balls, balls of our feet. Remember, we throw that one, two, we move back first with the right leg, if you're a righty, and then we step in with the left leg. So it's gonna be a one, two, step back, step in, one. Start nice and slow when you're just getting the hang of it. All these things are gonna become more natural over time as you practice. One, two, step back, step in, one. So hopefully this helps. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and anytime you're going through these drills or workouts, just keep those three things in mind. Balance at all time. The direction that we're going is the foot that moves first and keep the weight nice and light on the balls of your feet. And until next time, I'll see you again real soon. Ish, ish, ish.